Hey guys, what's going on? So today we are doing a little showcase for my sixth and seventh six star heroes. You can actually see them there, Ravi and Mascot Hazel. Usually I do one showcase per six star as it's kind of been like a uh, little series, I guess, within my Epic Seven videos, but I've had Ravi for so long and Hazel, I guess, is a little bit more hype nowadays and I kind of wanted to like make hers first, but then I was like, I can't just ignore Ravi. So we're doing sixth and seventh today, going to kind of go over them both. We can start with Ravi because she is a little bit easier, I would say. She currently just has the attack set and some broken sets over here because I didn't really have much else for her. She might be actually a little bit better with a lifesteal set perhaps if you want that sustain. And that's because of her first skill here where she also gets some lifesteal. And then in addition to Sigurd Scythe, you know, she gets an additional 30% of damage dealt as lifesteal. So she is a lifesteal machine. But besides a lack of gear, that's also kind of one reason I decided to just go with an attack set because she is lifestealing so much anyway. I'm not sure if more lifesteal wouldn't be a bit redundant. Perhaps if you didn't have Sigurd Scythe, because she pretty much heals to full once she gets under 50% HP with this artifact, and it's only level 7 right now. Obviously, like every hero I have, her gear isn't really perfect, it's not even that great. For the heroes I'm actually giving attack sets to, I'd like their attack to be at least 3000. Like we have Sez here at 3000. Lorena isn't quite there anymore because I decided to switch out her boots for speed boots instead of attack percent boots. So that dropped her attack down to under 3000. But I've been trying to do Arena a bit more because I know it is kind of important. There is a lot of sky stone potential there. So I decided to go more on the speed route. Same with Hazel. Not only did I give her a speed set, but I also gave her a speed boots. So she is quick. She is usually the second one to go, depending on who I have in. And I believe she is actually currently my second highest speed. Says is close behind, and only Sid beats her out with 196. And I like bringing Hazel in Arena because she gives an attack buff, and when I have Says in there, that attack buff makes him really, really strong. Because not only can he potentially one-shot with his S3, but the additional damage to all enemies is proportional to his attack which I have noticed does go up when he has an attack buff. So those are my two new six stars. Hazel is definitely a lot more complicated uh, because she is like a soul weaver, but some of her things are based off of her attack. So it's like, eh, do I go with attack? Do I go with defensive stuff? Uh, but I just went with speed because it's pretty generally useful. Her second skill heals proportional to attack, but I didn't notice it heals very much even when I had the attack set on her. So I just gave her speed. And especially in arena, I may not even get a chance to use her second skill. I obviously start with skill three, uh, focus it on Ravi because I do take Ravi as well so that she'll get the greater increased attack and that might help finish off anyone who remains. Then she also has the Book of Fire which has a 35% chance to make the target unhealable. This could actually be pretty good for Golem actually now that I think about it because that little tree is always healing the Golem. So if I were to use some more Molagora and get that up to 15% extra chance and I believe even in her skill tree, you can increase that further. Unfortunately, I haven't gone too far with this. I spent most of the week in farming hunts so I could even unlock her and wasn't farming the fireplace while it was open. It may actually be open today. I'm going to check that later. And if so, that's what I'm going to be farming mostly for today. But yeah, with this rune, the language rune, you can increase the unhealable debuff effect chance another 25%. I believe that will go up to 75% then which is pretty nice. She gets a bit of self-sustain here when using Book of Fire, 5% healing. And a lot of the other runes are dedicated to having like a full fire team or close to full fire, maybe at least three fire, increase all attack, increase all effectiveness, continuous healing if it's a fire elemental, combat readiness if it's a fire. So yeah, Ravi. Mainly she just wrecks with her basic skill, that's why I maxed that out. The more fighting spirit she has, the more damage this will do. Her ultimate is quite powerful as well. It's just I've never had it fill up in an arena battle because they end so fast. Uh, but to kind of showcase those two, let's go ahead and take it into arena. I did make it back up to master, so that's cool. I'm probably going to go ahead and keep this defense team now instead of making a weak one because I don't want to accidentally get relegated down to gold at the end of the week and then not notice and then have to climb all the way back up through the gold tiers because that was kind of annoying. So all these guys are pretty tough, honestly. But we're going to try this one here. I've been going with a pretty offensive team similar to this. Sometimes I'll switch out like Sid with Lorena or so. But yeah, let's go ahead and give it a try. Might lose because I'm recording and I always lose while, while I'm recording because that's just the nature of things. Okay, so his Sid is faster than mine. That's pretty impressive. My Sid is like built full speed. But uh, it's all right. We're going to do the same thing to your says. Let's see whose Sid is stronger. So I got about four bars of my says left. Let's go ahead and one shot him. How about we? Oh, my Sid is stronger. Damn. Well, the thing is, like, I could kill him, but I kind of don't want to. 
because I could kill him with Sez's ultimate. And since Sez probably can't kill any of these guys, I'm probably just going to go for the Sid there instead. And now I can not only heal a bit, but also get that attack boost. I also forgot to choose Ravi, so of course the greater goes to her, but I don't think we'll even need it. We got the attack boost, gonna hit up Sez there, and even though I have the elemental weakness, you'll see a significant amount of damage going there. Almost. So close. But Sid did go down, he'll go down next, I don't think I have much else to worry about. And then of course once the DPS are gone, it's just Destina there, I can actually hit the auto button. If I want to take Arena really seriously, I probably have to also give Ravi some speed because she didn't actually get a chance to shine at all there. Ooh, this next one looks pretty hard as well, I mean there is a 50 in there. But even so, I'm not too sure about that. Also Diane, or however she's, I don't know. Well, my Sid is the fastest, but it doesn't make much sense to go for that dude. I don't think I can kill anyone, just gonna try and get the speed boost then. No speed boost? How unlucky. And uh, there goes, yeah. Eh, I don't like her. Let's go and get the attack boost. Hopefully not everyone dies instantly. Oh god, no. Oh, what the, the, but this guy just one-shotted. Just one-shotted my Sid. Well, let's hope I can one-shot your Shuri. Thank God it was a crit, even with the crit resistance. I mean, yeah. That wouldn't have worked without the crit. So I got a bit lucky there, I guess. Alright, good. So yeah, we can see Ravi now. She has the greater attack buff. Bomp, bomp, what? No critical again. Alright, well, he's down. It's just the healer left. Well, I'm really considering raising my Moonlight Shuri, because I know he can, like, penetrate defense and such, and those tank dudes are gonna go down. Don't know if it'd still work for someone like Diane, because I can't imagine a lot of people build her maybe more with HP than defense, but also, I guess, a ton of speed, because she's always one of the first ones to go. Alright, we can do one more. Here's mostly 50s, but as I learned in Guild War the other day, uh, you can't underestimate them just because they're level 50. I also, I was stupid scales. and forgot to sign up for Guild War on Sunday. Sunday is just not a prep day uh, in my eyes, so I just never really connected the dots. Sunday is supposed to be like the rest day, like for everything, <laughs> and then I like only just figured it out like at reset, so that was, that was really a big shame. Not sure if I have a better chance to kill Diane or like Vildred there. Eh, let's try. No critical. What a shame. Ah, but it should still work. Yeah, she was low enough. Pop. Oh, yeah, that's right. Stupid Vildred revives. Wow. That is one, sh that is one offensive tank. Let's go and heal up a little bit, I guess. It doesn't do a lot, but enough. Yeah, I mean, it is a pretty risky team, I guess. I just kind of hope that I'm faster than they are, pretty much. And, and half the time I am, half the time I'm not. Sometimes it still works out anyway, though. But yeah, enough for Arena. I have a bad habit of focusing on a hero before my last one's really finished, so I just have a bunch of, like, mediocre heroes now. I mean, I think they're, like, good enough for some stuff. And then... I guess when Luna comes around, she'll be my last hero for a long time. My main goal right now is to get to a point where I can auto uh, at least stage 10 of Hunt. Like, I haven't even tried it yet, but we could. Uh, and then eventually auto stage 11. I mean, 85 accessories. Epic. Up to epic. Get the best stuff ever there. And Weavern has the critical and speed set, which are like two of the most used sets ever. Honestly, wouldn't even know who to take here. Like, I would have to take Sez, and I know people say Sez isn't good for the end game, but like, he is water. He is probably the one with one of the highest gears. And his ultimate can do significant damage, actually. I would kind of like to keep Hazel for the attack buff, but I'm not sure if that's worth it, just her, because I would want a defense breaker as well, and like, Falcon or Cluri is pretty much the only one besides Sid that I have. It's just Hazel's usefulness goes down quite a bit when she's the only fire one there because none of those other buffs happen. But just for the sake of it, let's try it like this. I'm going to auto the first stage because if I can't even auto that, then there's no chance for me to do the dragon. I'm going to auto but turn skills off so I can save them for the boss. I would really need an another healer as well though. I like Destina is my only real healer and, you know, obviously she's... Even with a ton of HP, she's not gonna do so well here. I'm actually considering burning it. It takes 10 souls to get another turn of attack buff. I think that might be worth it. You know, once he gets his barrier, it gets a little bit hard. Also, it would be very excellent if we can get this attack break on there. Please? Or a defense break. Yeah, we got it. Now we're gonna do his ultimate with the attack buff and with the defense break. Uh, 
It gets so much stronger when you burn it, but I didn't have enough for that. 15k, I'm actually not that satisfied with that. Well, I think Destina should actually be fine. She is half dead, but you know, it's gonna take a lot more to kill her. Yeah, that pretty much did it. Well, we can heal her a little bit. Ooh, that actually did a lot. I think it's also based on the, uh, their max HP. I mean, this is stage 10, so we're doing okay so far, I think. Oh, is he gonna get his barrier already? What the hell? Oh lord, and if we can't kill that barrier, he does this weird dash attack and like everyone is instantly dead. Can we defense break him in that barrier? And will that even do anything? Burn another attack buff, I guess. Will it ever be Sez's turn? For Christ's sake, like everyone else went four times. He has the second fastest speed here. Maybe third. Okay, the barrier is gone, thankfully. All right, let's try burning it this time. I'm hoping he will die. Kaboom. Yeah, you see how much freaking that burn does? Mother of God. Literally 43,000. Wow. Okay, but that was Weaver and Tin. Maybe, mm, I'm not too sure. I think I'm close to autoing 10, maybe. That was actually the first time trying it. It's just, I know things could easily go wrong if I'm not controlling them. Perhaps with another healer, I could probably do it. Let's just try 11 for the hell of it. Oh, I think I overestimated these minions here. I did use all my skills because I thought it would take a long time to kill them, but they're actually not too much harder than level 10's minions. Oh my God, this guy looks scary. Three times? What the... I'm not sure if I should do the... Also, well, this also heals. Yeah, okay. Not gonna burn it this time. Seeing as how Sez's damage doubles when it's burned, I kinda wanna save it for that, actually. Uh, would be nice if we can also get the defense break. Oh, but I used Sez's ultimate on the minions, so I doubt it's cooled down by now. Two turns. Damn, that is bad timing. And we didn't get the defense down anyway. Are you serious? Oh lord. Oh, is this something specific to level 11? Or was that on all of them? Uh, yeah. Okay, so full ice teams regardless of what you got. I could throw a Bask in there. I don't... And maybe Yuna can try and heal her, but that's probably pointless. Yeah, okay, I guess that's not gonna work. I would need a water healer. Are there any good free water healers? I've kind of given up on getting a Katie's or the other one. I think a Katie's is fire. Well, just for fun, let's do a burn ultimate on a defense broken attack increase says. Oh, fun times. I can't even see the barrier going away. Oh, well, I can see the HP going up. <laughs> well, it almost got rid of the barrier just with that. Actually, I'm not sure if that's a good thing because like, he has decreased speed and everything. You should probably do your big attack when he has a tiny bit of his shield left. Or if that makes any sense. Lord, oh lord. I didn't realize how tanky Destina was when he started hitting my, uh, uh, well, I mean, you know, we got down to like two thirds. I'm sure you can solo him, says. What the f I thought he decreases damage. Decreasing damage dealt to non-ice elemental heroes by 30%. What would make sense is that he deals less damage to ice elementals, but what it actually says there is that he deals less damage to non-ice. But um, yeah, we are too weak for that. We can also try Golem Hunt, even though that's gonna take about seven eternities longer because it's Golem Hunt. I actually heard Dingo would make a good pair for Hazel. We also got Kyrus, of course. Just not sure if Hazel's a good enough Soul Weaver to be a solo Soul Weaver. And I'm pretty sure Dingo has absolutely nothing except his A rank dual attack chance. Well, I'm just gonna equip whatever I got to him. As far as I know, he reduces cooldowns, which should actually be pretty good for Kyrus. Oh Lord, a six turn cooldown. I'd probably need to spend some Molagoras on that, but I don't really want to till I actually know what he's doing. Actually, this candlestick is a really good three-star artifact. But yeah, I don't really feel like raising anything for him specifically, so I'm gonna give him this uh, hell cutter, I guess. Just for some extra stats. Whatever, not really sure what I'm doing, but let's give it a try. Why do you bully Curious? Well, uh, if this does eventually end up working, it's not worth it. Two poisons. Yeah, unfortunately, I forgot to get my cooldown guardian. That would have helped here. No. Okay. Well, we got five Mystic Medals, and um, yeah, that was horrible. I don't really see the point of Dingo there, although it might just be because he has like literally nothing, no Awakens, no Skill Enhances, completely random ass gear. I guess his cooldown could be nice, maybe in junction with uh, the Guardian, but I'm tired now.
And I guess that's where I'm gonna wrap it up. So I definitely don't regret raising Hazel. Gonna continue getting her skill tree finished off and everything as well. And uh, I mean, come on. She's really cute in that outfit. So like, that alone is worth it. God, that sounds creepy. Ravi is also pretty nice. Again, I think she probably wants to be built differently. Pretty sure all my heroes want to be built differently. It's just, I always kind of just get distracted by the new toy whenever I get a new hero and whatever, and I just kind of want to give them gear, and then it ends up being like bad anyway, and then I move on to the next. So it's like, again, I kind of have a bunch of mediocre heroes. Regardless, tell me what you think about Hazel, and if you want to, Ravi. I guess Hazel's more of the topic these days because she's new, and probably a lot of people are experimenting with her, and checking out which which teams actually suit her best and all that good stuff, so I'd like to know that as well. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, dropping a like if you did happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.